welcome back to VC's Craft World. So I have a Mother's Day update on sales. So let me just start by saying um, sales were, for me, these were, the sales were through the roof. Like I didn't sell out on my baskets. I only had like maybe four or five left, but I've never, for me, this was my biggest year. I think Mother's Day, I don't want to narrow it down, but Mother's Day is like one of my best, best holidays for selling. Um, Valentine's Day and Mother's Day, but I think Mother's Day always knocks it out of the park. So sales were really, really good. This year I made probably about 40 to 50 baskets, but that's, for me, that's pretty good. Um, because before I was making like 15, 20. So of course, you know, you don't have the inventory, then you can only make but so much. So this year I tried to double it. I know I'm not in the hundreds yet, but I will get there because I have big, big, big plans and goals set for myself, um, finishing out this year of 2024 for the, you know, the, the winter and fall holidays, um, and Father's Day as well. So like I said, sales were really, really, really good. Um, I'm going right into Father's Day, um, purchasing items and buying things that I need. Woo, y'all hear that? Yikes. It's been raining and rain. Listen, it's been raining. And on my drive home today, I was, you know, thinking, God, it's been raining for the last few days. Like, let up, give us some sun. But one thing, once I made it home, I thought about it like, yeah, it's been raining for a few days, but guess what? It didn't rain on Mother's Day weekend. It didn't rain on our parade, at least here in North Carolina. So we had sun and the weather, it wasn't too hot. It was perfect. It was like a nice 73, 74 degrees with some breeze. Woo, perfect, perfect weather. Couldn't have been perfect. I could not have wrote it down and and prayed over it better than what it turned out. Like it was, the weather was mwah, chef's kiss. So next, before I get on a rant and get off, that's why I wrote things down in my little journal. Um, so it was busy, busy for me. Let me tell you, I know I ghosted y'all. I, I probably made videos up until, I don't know, maybe Tuesday or Wednesday of last week leading into Mother's Day weekend. And this is why. So you remember the red basket, the red uh, handbag gift basket that I made. That was for um, one of my coworkers. And when I took that basket and I, I did it, everything that I do is with purpose. So I made sure that basket was beautiful. It was luxurious. It had all the bells and whistles and whatever else. You know, I went above and beyond because I knew taking it in um, would catch the attention of others at the job. So I did not take it in with me first thing in the morning. Um, I left it in the car. Well, one, my hands were too full because um, I'm always taking cups and bags to work. Um, but I went back out probably right before lunch, maybe 11 o'clock. And I had a coworker, a, a guy coworker come with me and he carried it because it was, you know, it was kind of heavy. So when we walked in, it was like, it made an entrance. It like, she was, she was everything. She made an entrance. Um, and everyone was, oh my God, it was exactly what I wanted it to be. I set my intentions and it was, it was the, it was the attention, attention that I wanted um, for the basket. So anyway, from that, I ended up getting four, four more customized orders. So that meant, so that was on Wednesday, I would say, when I delivered it by, no, it was Thursday, I'm sorry, it was Thursday, because Thursday night, um, I had another $75 order for a basket for Mother's Day and he wanted it on Friday. So I, I could have taken you guys with me on my shop while I, because I had to come off the cuff because I didn't, and he said, you know, I want that basket to look just like that one. Well, mm, 
it's not going to happen. You know, if, if I don't buy the items, if it's more than one at that time, chances are you're not going to get another. And that bag was from like TJ Maxx and Marshalls. So you're not going to find another one. And I didn't have the luxury of time to go from store to store. So I, I did let him know ahead of time like that. That's not going to happen. It's going to be similar, but different color. So expect that. When I tell you, I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish I had time to film that basket um, and or either take a picture of it. When I tell you, so the bag that I ended up finding was like a leather um, bag and I spent a little more than what I wanted to on that bag, but I couldn't really find anything else. And I wanted to, again, over deliver without pay paying for the over delivery. You know what I'm saying? Um, I wanted it to look over the top, but I didn't want to spend the money for the over the top. So long story short, I paid a little bit more for that bag than what I wanted. But but at the end of the day, it was like a off white um, tote. And you could, I figured it would, it was a nice tote that she could have, um, she could carry to work. Um, and I think she's actually a student. She's um, going to get her master's degree, the recipient of the gift. And so I figured that would be perfect. And so on the inside of the tote, it had like a little um, makeup bag, if you will. So at first I wasn't going to add that into it, but then, you know, I was thinking in the store, like, what can I, and the fact that I got the cream, the off-white color, I figured it's my playground. I could add any other color to it. So I was walking around the store and I couldn't find like sets. And I knew I had stuff still at home that wasn't put together in a basket. And then I saw something and I was, you know, in my mind, like, okay, Lord, you know, bring it to me, bring, you know, how he does when he cr helps me create. And I looked at something and I was like, lavender. Lavender and I have a whole lavender set that will fill this up at home. So I didn't buy anything else. Um, I had already had everything at home. Well, I did. I'm lying. I did. I bought, um, I went around the corner because in the red basket, I had the faux, the sparkling cider and he wanted a drink. So I went around the corner to like the food section, um, at home goods and they had this beautiful bottle of lavender and lemon drink a tall bottle and it was lavender and cream it matched the bag perfect to a t and i love it when things line up like that for me because it's like oh yeah this is gonna be nice and i knew driving home with the items that it was gonna be a nice nice bag but i had no idea once i started putting the things together um, so I had some small um, Dr. Teal's, um, I think it was like lavender, I don't know, was it bubble bath or something like that? And I know I had the beads, the uh, the bath salts. So I put those inside the smaller bag, put those at top. Of course, I filled the bag up. It was beautiful. It was a beautiful bag. Needless to say, the recipient, he called me on Sunday and this was another coworker. He called me on Sunday to say she loved it. She loved the bag. She loved the basket. She said she could use the bag. Like I was so, and I knew it was a beautiful bag. And of course I tied balloons onto it. Um, but to hear the recipient say that, it, it just, it made it all worth it for me. Um, so anyway, Friday night, finishing up, putting gift baskets together, and then going into the weekend. Um, but that's why I didn't get a chance to film anymore because it was so, so busy. I didn't get a chance to film while I was out there because people were coming over to the table left and right. And I was busy, you know, selling and doing those things. But anyway, let me stay on task before this is a 30 minute video and I don't want it to be. Um, so let's see. Oh, repeat customers. It was so good to have repeat customers that remember me from being at the same location. Um, I didn't, I didn't remember him, but it was a guy that came up and he said, um, his girlfriend was asking him, I wonder if that lady is out there this year selling baskets again. And he was like, I don't know. I'll go up there and check. And he was like, and you're here. So he ended up purchasing a couple of bas baskets from me. So that was, that was cool to see. So 
And as I go through these um, bullet points with you guys, I just want you to know, like for the new, of course, the, you know, the seasonal basket makers who are used to doing this, um, the season basket makers, you already know this, but the newcomers, these are just tips for you. Like repeat, if you can stay in the same location every year, your customers will come back. Um, and they will, especially you have great gifts, great products. They will come back. It, I, I'm proof. I've, I've had it for each time that I've been out there. I've had a repeat customer each holiday, different customers, but they've, I've had repeat. And then of course I had new ones, um, that came and loved my ideas and my products as well. My baskets. Um, so this is also, I learned this. Um, so for me each year, I try to elevate my look, my products, my what I put in my basket and how I design them. I think that that works. Um, this year I saw, I heard nothing but rave reviews about how I'm talented and I'm gifted. And these are, these are things that you may already know as a gift designer. But when other people tell you that, it just, it, it makes it even better because they're seeing your vision that you're putting together. So another tip for the new basket makers, elevate your look, elevate your craft. Like I, I study and I go, you know, I'll look on YouTube for hours sometimes. And some days I might not even get a video out if I have, um, you know, an idea or if I want to do a different basket that's different from everyone else's. I may research and research until I come up with something and I have an idea and I get fixated on it and I will, you know, until the end, I'm like obsessed with that idea. So that's, that's a tip. Just, just try to elevate every time. Elevate. Um, I did. Uh, okay. So I want to say this too. So of course I start out with nothing but, and, and before I start, um, there's nothing wrong with Dollar Tree products, but I'm really kind of, what should I say? Um, selective of certain Dollar Tree products. I want the items that I get from Dollar Tree to look, um, expensive and look like items that wouldn't even come. You wouldn't think they would come from Dollar Tree. So those are the Dollar Tree items that I look for. Yes, I do put Dollar Tree items in my baskets. Not all, but um, some, And but they're like the looks, you know, they look more expensive than Dollar Tree items. And truth to tell you, a lot of them will sell out. You know, those products will sell out. Um, they look high end. The other thing, um, let's see. So now I'm, I'm starting to, before I wasn't really looking at, um, like I did a little bit of bath and body works and not, I don't think I really did. I did Victoria's secret. I started it for Valentine's day, but not last year. So I'm starting to look and catch those items throughout the year when they're on sale and use those in my baskets. So if you can catch the high end, not that Victoria's Secret is high end, but you know what I mean. It's it's a little more high end than Dollar Tree. So and when you can find those type of products on sale, get them um, for your baskets and then just build up your inventory. Of course, there's nothing wrong with the Dollar General getting their items for. I've gotten so many basket containers from them for like pennies or quarters or a dollar. So do that as well. Um, and then get to know your customers. Um, get to know what they like. Like I said, I had, I think the smallest basket or bags that I had um, was Sunday. I'm going to hurry this up. Sunday, I had um, small gift bags because at that point, I wasn't into the design of it. I was into like, let me put some stuff together in a gift bag. So I had these gift bags in white and then I had them in um, like the, the dark tan color. And I just had some, I went and replenished my Victoria's Secret items on Saturday evening after I finished selling. And I just kind of put them in there with some tissue paper and put a bow on the, the handle. Um, but that like, so those I sold for $20, but that was the lowest that I sold. Um, and that was a set, but that was the lowest gift baskets that I had. I didn't have any 15s or 20, I mean, or, or 10s. 
nothing like that. Everything was above that. And they sold, even my $75 ones. Um, let's see. Expand. Expand your business, like for me. And everything that I'm saying, this is what I've done or I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to expand more gifts um, each time, each holiday, more and more gifts. I'm going to push myself to do better and do more. Um, and of course, like I said, better designs. Um, let's see. Remain positive throughout it. There were, not this time, but previous holidays, like during um, Valentine's Day, when there were a lot of people out there selling baskets. You know, you might feel like in between customers, like, oh gosh, you know, I've got all these baskets I need to sell. Please trust, stay positive because there are people who want your baskets. There's someone for everyone. There's enough to go around for all of us. Um, and then the last thing um, at the, what, 16 minute mark almost. Um, the last thing is Father's Day. Father's Day, let's get ready. Let's start to create. Let's do baskets. Let's elevate our look. This is the last holiday for until, you know, the fall. So let's go out with a bang for this summer for our last Father's Day, um, you know, of 2024. And I hope everyone did well, continues to do well. And I pray for you and your business. Woo! I'm finishing up as well as mine. So that's all I have today. If you have any comments or suggestions or anything like that, please share, please share. Um, I always read your comments. I'm actually a little behind on comments. So I'm going to tonight take some time, read over your comments, um, like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much. Love you for coming back. Bye. Mm -hmm.